So let's allow the team that went mm. uh, to search uh, um, to tell us how many people are there. You can see the smell of gas. It emanates from that direction. So that's where we need to get uh, immediate assistance. And people have indicated from that side that they're starting to have headaches and chest pains. Uh, so they're requesting us that we assist them as quickly as possible. So when the search team which, uh, consists of experts come and brief us, then we'll be in a position to say what kind of additional support we can provide immediately. So what we do have is that our emergency management teams are here. We already transported about nine patients or so. It's quite difficult to say because we still need to do some search and rescue. We will have to also check the, the structural integrity of the buildings surrounding this area and work with our teams in human settlements to see what it is that we need to do to evacuate the people here. So we have disaster management teams here, emergency management services are here. So it's really just up to that so that we ensure that when we look at the gas line to ensure that we get that indication and confirmation that the line basically is closed. And then that is the time that we can really be able to do a proper assessment and provide proper feedback to you.